I didn't think I would see you here. Are these two your friends? Yes. We had the fortune of meeting not too long ago. They are quite a knowledgeable and talented pair, and a pleasure to be around. Traveler, we were just discussing the history of Rex Lapis. Would you like to listen? Uh, this good sir seems not to appreciate the almighty power of the Lord of Geo. As a professor of archaeology, I'm inclined to correct some of his erroneous views. We are discussing the whereabouts of the First Mora. The First Mora? As everyone knows, the Lord of Geo taught the ancient people of Lyra the craft of smelting, creating goods that allowed them to develop trade with the early nations of that time. Today, Lyra holds the sole right to cast Mora in the entire continent of Tibet. The world's very first Mora should have been cast by the hands of the Lord of Geo himself thousands of years ago. According to my research, as well as my own hypothesis, I believe that this coin of unique historical significance has been passed down secretly through the years as a kind of token. For example, perhaps the Chi-Sing who control the Liyue use it in some kind of unknown ceremony they hold when they come to power. No, oh, no, no. My research indicates that the first Mora coin is not such a simple thing. Mora is a cannon. This we all know. Even today, more is used in the mystic arts for its curious properties of weapon enhancement. The world's first mother would no doubt possess the strongest power. In my next historical treatise will boldly expound on the newest findings from my intense decade-long research. That is, that the Lord of Geo used this original Mora as a catalyst to enhance a dagger and a sword. A dagger and a sword? Well... Buy the book when it comes out to read the full story. <laughs> For now, I will only reveal this. The one who finds the dagger shall become supreme in the league. And the one who finds the sword may be crowned Liu's sovereign. I can't say I agree. <laughs> Let us not speak of the authenticity of the dagger and sword first. But more and money came about simply because they are a convenient measure of a contract's value. Rex Lapis just meant for Mora to serve as a catalyst for people to exchange and trade. The world's first Mora is probably just an ordinary coin created by Rex Lapis. As for its fate, the same as all Mora, I suspect. It was simply spent somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think that Mr. Hanshua's hypothesis seems reasonable. Mr. Zhongli's argument, on the other hand, lacks any evidence. How can you so easily dismiss the Lord of Geo's profound foresight? No, no, I am not debating right or wrong. I am simply stating the fact. Enough! Do you think you understand the Lord of Geo more than me? I know but little about history, and I wouldn't dare to brag. But discussion is meaningless if everyone has the same opinion, no? Well then, answer me this. Long ago, when New Air Harbor was being constructed, the Lord of Geo taught the people how to build houses. The model home he used to teach them was completely cast from Mora, correct? That is correct, indeed. Okay then, tell me. Why would the Lord of Geo do something so extravagant, if not because of the mystical power that Mora contains? There's a simple explanation, really. To the god of wealth and commerce, what material is easier to get than Mora? Yeah. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I am talking about Rex Lapis. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, I have some questions about archaeology. Can we find somewhere quiet to chat? I mean, if it's okay with you. Oh, it's no problem at all. But may my friend accompany us? Perhaps they could be of some help. Of course. They can come if that's what pleases you, sir. Let's go. What I'm about to say is a bit disrespectful of the Lord of Geo and would draw a lot of angry looks. 
so it's best to discuss this somewhere quiet. Your argument just now exhibited acuteness of speech and thought. Most importantly, you don't fall for the boasting and acting of the others. You remain objective. So I have a question for you. Perhaps you will answer differently from other scholars. Do you think that all the gods that the Geo Archon killed were evil? Let's not analyze it in terms of good versus evil. Rex Lapis placed great importance on the integrity of contracts. So any gods he killed certainly must have broken some kind of contract. Right! A lot of Geo wouldn't kill the innocent. But when I was doing some research, I learned about the legend of the God of Salt. The God of Salt, Havria, was a very kind god that she encountered Morax one day in battle. Morax used a rather underhanded trick to assassinate her. What? No way! This... this bit of history is a long story. But you may not like the truth when you hear it. Don't worry, please tell me what you know. This event... I've already searched for answers for a long time. No, it's just... <sighs> Where should I begin? Over here! Mr. Zhongli! I've been looking for you! <laughs> ah, so you're over here all this time. Put down your weapon and stay back! Otherwise... Uh... Paimon's reporting you to the Millilith! First of all, I'm not holding a weapon. Ach... <laughs> There's no need to overreact now. I'm simply an archaeological researcher from Snezhnaya. I'm not here for trouble. The Fatui say that every time! But this time, I registered with the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. I could show you the official documentation if you want to see it. I will be conducting an archaeological survey here, the results of which will all be shared with the Ministry. I heard that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor had a consultant named Zhang Li, with immense knowledge of ancient history and archaeology. So I paid Wangsheng Funeral Parlor a handsome amount, to hire Zhang Li as my own consultant while I'm in town. So you mean to say that this is work for the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, yes? Well, since it's work, I don't have a choice. A consultant of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor must respect their duty. Of course you would be such a reasonable man. Well then, let's head out now, shall we? Wait, if you were studying archaeology, can I go too? I am also a scholar in this field, so I can help. That will give us a chance to continue the topic we were just discussing. Oh, and you should tag along too. This experience may be of help to you on your future adventures. It is a story from before the Rise of the Seven. Although the God of Salt has already perished, it will still be a meaningful experience for your journey. This is... wait. This is an archaeological expedition, not a tour group. That's too many people. But this friend of mine has a treasure-finding talent, surpassed by no one. It will surely be of great help to us. Oh? What talent? If my friend espies a treasure chest, they will absolutely find a way to open it. Hey! Paimon's good at that, too! Well, that is quite enticing. All right, then. Well, let's go. There's no time to waste. When the Overlord of the Vortex was crushed by the Jade Chamber recently, perhaps something of interest was washed ashore. An ancient artifact would be good. Traces of ancient activity would be great. But a piece of the God's Limb would be even better. Who knows what surprises we may find. <laughs>